Welcome back. Joining us now is Jackie Nelson, the Director of Outpatient Healthy Cancer Care Services at St. John's Hospital, and John Paulson, the Director of Development with the Healthies Foundation. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you're you. welcome. And you're here to tell us about this brand new salon that's actually right inside the hospital. Jackie, why don't you tell us about it? You just launched it, opened it up in the last few months. We did. We, uh, when we built the clinic and opened that in September of 2008, we um, had a vision to have a salon available for our patients who lose their hair through chemotherapy and uh, as a result of their cancer diagnosis. And we um, built a very intimate place for uh, women or men who struggle with hair loss um, who need a solution. And so in August of 2009, we actually were able to uh, obtain a beautician and a gr actually a group of them, Fantasia Salon, to come and support our program. You actually have a brochure here that kind of looks do. at it. I do, I do, just to kind of show a little bit about a before and after picture of one of their clients wow. who utilize their services. And I took a tour of the facility, which was part of my process in choosing one, and they do such a fabulous job. They have 45 years of experience helping people with hair loss for various reasons, men, women, whether it's alopecia or chemotherapy or other um, medical conditions that cause hair loss. So it's been very exciting to see the work that they do with the patients that we send to them. I know when my sister was going through cancer, I mean, the one thing was the hair loss. Mm -hmm. She called up in tears and just yeah. so devastating and it is. hard to deal with. And so something like this is just fabulous. It's mm -hmm. really good. John, you got some donors, generous donors that helped launch the salon and yep. how does it work? Can you kind of tell us about that? Well, we basically, uh, Jody, want to share, we share the, the, the uh, concept. Oh, why you of, created it too. Right, to share the concept of how the salon works. Uh, to uh, to s several family foundations, individuals, corporations, uh, because this is so important. Uh, because as they're going through chemotherapy or whatever therapies they're going through treatments, uh, obviously financially wanting to get a wig or those kind of issues are difficult because of the financial strains on the mm -hmm. on the patient and the families. And so um, we've been able to share this project with different groups and really have received great um, support uh, from several private family foundations. Um, a year ago, the Randy Shaver Foundation supported us with this and it was just wonderful. And uh, we still get people wanting to make contributions, um, a lot of it because of family members or friends that have gone through this already and want to support this because we know the, um, uh, that when patients feel good about themselves going through this therapy, um, the outcomes oftentimes are very positive. Yeah, it's it's more than just mm -hmm. hair or hats or wigs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there's something much deeper to it. Mm -hmm. How does someone go about getting? Uh, I understand you don't even have to be a healthiest um, patient to Correct. to benefit from this salon. Yeah, our vision really was to service the community. So any woman or man who's dealing with hair loss related to a cancer diagnosis that wants to address that need with some hair loss solution, we welcome them to utilize the service. Um, as John stated through our generous donors, we've been able to obtain funds to provide a $150 voucher towards uh, the cost to have a solution uh, made and designed for them. And they can just contact me, Jackie Nelson, at the clinic, and that number is 651-232-7970. Or if uh, somebody in the community or someone chooses to go directly to the Fantasia Salon, they can also contact them at 763-544-9126 and just simply say that they heard about this, um, the Health East Cancer Care Salon, and they would have to have a, a cancer diagnosis and be going through chemotherapy, but um, there are also coupons available right at Fantasia. It's very cool that you have this right in the hospital too. It is the location. What do you both think about having this? Oh, it's, it's, I know it's took it took a while to get it up and going, and yeah, and we we did a very good job of selecting, making sure that we we found an organization that um, really knew the business and understood hair loss and understood how to take care of patients that are going through cancer care, because they also offer skin care as well. And so it's kind of that whole beauty thing for a woman or it's just taking care of their, their skin and hair for a man. 
Um, so I think we oh, did very a much very so. good job. Very much so. Focusing and getting the right group and. And the word's starting to be spread out more, even mm -hmm. through our patients mm -hmm. who are going through this are now sharing that with their yeah. friends. And so we, when we have, uh, also I'll get a phone call from somebody saying they would like to make a contribution because their next door neighbor received a wig. Mm -hmm. And so that's always exciting. So the word's getting out to the public. And we've serviced about 28 women so far in the short time that we've mm -hmm. been open. Oh, that's great. Very good feedback. They look beautiful. Um, it's exciting to see how nice they it look. It just seems to lift their whole spirit, it does. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it has mm -hmm. such a healing effect. Like the art with Susie, I would think that mm -hmm. this also would be very right. beneficial as well. Mm -hmm. And how cool they have it right inside the hospital it's, there. It's very yeah. convenient for the patient. Um, the stylists come twice a week and they, they teach a class. They, they work with patients. Eventually they do go out to Crystal and meet with them there as well, but just to start in the hospital in that intimate setting is very, very nice. And I see women going in there even when Fantasia's not there. We just have it open and they go sit in there and try on different things and it's very private. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Final comments about this salon? I just want to encourage you, um, as uh, Linda Klein previous led, the, the Many Faces of Hope event is coming up. Fantasia will be there, so oh, okay. if you want to see, see them, uh, that's another opportunity to get a feel for who they are. All right. Well, thank you, John Paulson from the Healthies Foundation and Jackie Nelson from the Healthies mm -hmm. Cancer Care Center. Thank, thank you, you so much. Appreciate thank you. it. All right. When we come back, um, we're going to be talking with the makeover guys. So stay with us and how you can look your best no matter what age you are. So stay with us. <laughs> 